Our other big story tonight, neighbors next to the home that exploded on Sunday night are dealing with damage from the blast. The explosion in Goodyear sent two people to the hospital, and at last check, one man is still in critical condition from the burns that he received. Team 12's Colleen Sakura spoke with those next door who say they tried to help him from the flames. It literally shook the neighborhood, not only damaging this home that exploded and caught fire, but also damaging the one next door, leaving the neighbors there assessing the damage and picking up stray bullets now. While what's left is black, broken and burned. Boom, you know, it, it woke me up. What sticks now in Ignacio Flores's mind. He was laying right here on the floor. Is what he saw trying to help his next door neighbor burned from their home. We tried pulling him from away from the fire. After Goodyear fire says it exploded. <laughs> His family's home damaged too. The window right here, my little sister's window is cracked open. The bathroom window also cracked open. Evidence of what was inside the home across the fence. We just kept finding the little bullets right here. Now sits on his family's kitchen counter. They were lying around. So they just basically got pushed out, pushed out of the home. So I, I guarantee you if they found those three, there's many more. Hector Tarango is a former ATF resident agent in charge who now heads his own consulting firm. He says the way the house exploded and the fact that Goodyear Fire says they pulled out guns, ammunition, gunpowder, and other explosive materials leads him to believe that could be what caused the blast. These are not that common. While Goodyear Fire has not released the cause yet, Tarango says those pieces pulled from the rubble will be important in the investigation. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.